Do Filipinas enjoy having sex? Or do they just put up with it to please their foreign man that they've met or married or live with? Well, there are a lot of attributes you can give to a Filipina. A good Filipina, like they're loyal, like they're honest, like they make good wives. But when it comes down to sex, they're just like anybody else. Any other human being, any other adult, of course they enjoy sex. Unless you're asking the person to do something they don't feel comfortable with doing, which applies to everybody, man and woman, there is no difference. Now, I think there's um, a prevailing idea that Filipinas are somehow not backward in terms of sexual experience, but very old fashioned and don't know what's what. And yes, I'm sure there are some Filipinas like that. Perhaps some very uneducated ones that live in the provinces. Perhaps even ones that just have had no experience with the opposite sex and really don't have any clue. I would say they're in the minority and the majority these days. I can't speak for 50 years ago, but these days, they know what's what and they know what they want as well. So you as a foreigner, you've come here to the Philippines after chatting to a Filipina online for X amount of time, you're going to meet her and what are the odds you're going to be having sex with her, making love with her? I should imagine the odds are pretty high, don't you? So don't come with the idea that they haven't a clue what to do that they're going to be shy, shrinking violets, that they're going to need to be chaperoned. If you're very, very unlucky, or you're meeting some kind of a scammer, that will not be the case. Now there's a difference between being nervous about your first encounter, if you're a Filipina, with a, with a man than being a total shrinking violet. Listen, it's 2024. Even the Philippines has moved forward in their attitudes, in their outlook. Yes, there are still traditional values, but let me assure you, when it comes to sex with somebody, a Filipina, likes, loves, etc. The world is one. Now let me give you an example of something that might happen and if it happens it's a red flag. Now I've spoken to you about it before. I was talking to a girl online, a Filipina, for eight months, nine months maybe, during the pandemic. This is before the current Filipina that I live with and I will marry. So this Filipina, I didn't meet her on a dating site. She was from another vlogger's um, channel who was doing a video about this Filipina looking for foreign friends for something more. I got involved with this person, never met her but we were talking for eight months online and she loved me and we were gonna get married, you know, the usual. But I noticed one thing. Whenever I used to talk about sex of any kind that when we meet, you know, it's gonna be obviously in a hotel uh, for my duration stay there. She never really wanted to talk about sex. She'd never been with another man before. She never even kissed another guy before. She was clueless about anything to do with sex. 
Now they should have been red flags straight away. The girl was 29 years old. Should have been red flags straight away. But I'm thinking, oh well, you know, she just led a very sheltered life. She told me she was wanted to be a nun at one time. And she still thought about becoming a nun. Again, red flags, but Phil's thinking to himself, no, 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 she's a really lovely person. She's, read, uh, she's led a sheltered life. She'd worked in Taiwan for two, three years. She'd come back, the pandemic had happened. She had to stay here with her mother, but she didn't want to talk about sex. So of course, the less she wanted to talk about it, the more I did. And I used to get the silent treatment on her end. So when you do this, you do that. And when you do that, you do this. Oh, really? A deathly silence from her part. But she eventually dumped me. Don't get me wrong. Talking about sex was a very, very, very small part of our conversations. In the end, she was not interested. She went back to Taiwan to work as soon as she could. And luckily for me, she did. Because I would have been lumbered with her. And because of what happened with her, not wanting to continue, I met who I'm presently with. So I thank her for that. But going back onto my subject, if you meet anybody that's similar to that, doesn't want to talk about it, it, or is disgusted by it, or whatever, they are potential red flags, and just be careful, you might need to move on and find somebody else. Now I'm not suggesting that when you talk to a Filipino online, 95% of it should be about sex, of course I'm not, that's ridiculous. But conversely, oppositely, you do not want somebody who doesn't want to talk about it whatsoever. Because that's what you're going to be doing for a small part of your meeting, of being together. That's called being in love. That's part of what humans do to bond. That would be your bonding process. Now, if you're into weird and wonderful kinky sex, that's something different. That's something that I would suggest you talk about with your Filipina well beforehand to see whether she is interested in taking part in whatever turns you on because it might not turn her on. So just be aware of that. There's being part of a modern world and there's being not part of anything too weird which doesn't just apply to Filipinas so do Filipinas like sex I've been with a fair few in my time well four I don't know if that's a fair few and every single one does enjoy sex there wasn't one that was shy perhaps I just got lucky Perhaps you're going to meet the shy one, but you take it slow, you take baby steps, and that's how you do it. Even if you're in the West, you'd come up against somebody, if you're younger, and they're younger, that's shy about sex, maybe they've never had it before. So you wouldn't just rush in like a ball in a china shop, you take it slow, but in all seriousness, you shouldn't have an issue. It's perfectly natural in the West for a woman to enjoy sex and it's perfectly natural here in the Philippines for a Filipina to enjoy sex. So do not misconstrue and think Filipinas are what they maybe were 50, 60, 70 years ago. Very shy. That's not the case any longer, in general. So, if you're coming to the Philippines to meet your Filipina for the first time, enjoy yourself, 
take it seriously, have respect for her, and all should be fine. That's all.